Hello, 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 and welcome back to my home studio. This is Deb at DK, and today, as promised, we are going to dive into doing those swatches on our studio gels. Um, I know everyone is absolutely dying to see this one. Um, this is from the Liquid Metallics, and this is the Mirror Chrome. This has been a sellout week after week after week, and I know everybody wants to see this swatch. So I will do this one first, um, but I'm going to be also showing you guys something kind of unique as well, too. And it is this, which is a Swatch Pro from the gel bottle. And this is a great way for you guys to be displaying your own colors and starting um, your collection of your studio gels. So I'm gonna set up at my station and we're gonna get started in just a couple of minutes here. Okay, Swatch Pro, the ultimate color swatch solution. Now, I'm gonna start opening this but then I'm going to do a quick cut because I do know that there is some wrapping and packaging in here. So you guys don't need to see me uh, kind of struggling to remove this. Once again, I had a very long way to come, so it's good to see that it's packaged so nicely. I will be back in just one second. Okay, so here it is. And it is really quite a stunning book. Now, earlier when I tried to open this, I, I feel like it might be magnetic. I don't know for sure, but when we open and close it, it kind of clicks. So uh, sorry if it seems like I'm fumbling a little bit here. I'm really not. It is just a little bit, um, it closes beautifully, So, which is always a good thing, of course. And this is what it looks like inside. And... All of these little rows come out, of course, and you can just carefully grab the little tab here and pull it off. And then these are what come with, and these are our for our swatching. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do multiple swatching along here. I'm going to keep at the other side of my station. Uh, the gel's in order, so I know which one is which one. Also, the gel bottle, brilliant. Uh, they do have little stickers that you can buy. They're just very little. And you can actually put the little sticker on your chips so that you know what color is what color. Okay. And they are really little and very convenient. And that makes this so, so, so easy. So I am going to remove this from my station now. I'm going to get out some colors and you're going to start swatching with me. So see you back in a second. Okay, so here we are. We are ready to do that swatching. Now, two gel brushes, well, you could use either one, but typically for applying paints like this, a round brush is usually, unless you're doing art or some different techniques, but as a standard, a round gel brush is probably best. Now, this is the regular round gel brush for the gel bottle and it has a, obviously it's the round shape, but it has a little bit of a shorter um, brush pack here. So, and it's very thin from the sides, if you guys can see that, which is actually really nice uh, for working with gel. The other one here is the round O2. Now this is more of an arch brush. You will see it has, the pack is a little tiny bit longer. So um, very similar though, and it is still nice and thin from the side, which makes it easier to work with. Now I am going to be working with this one for these because these are kind of more of an art color gel. So that's what we have chosen to use. And we are gonna open up our liquid chrome. When we're working with these chips, what you wanna do is leave them on the palette here. So leave them connected. We're gonna paint on here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna leave it connected and then do our curing. It just makes it a little bit easier to do. So we're gonna dive in to this. And we are just gonna layer. We can start with a nice thin layer 
one here. Now this is also great if you wanted to do a uh, French manicure with a chrome tip. It's going to work really well. Let's just stroke that out here. Okay. It's a bit unusual when you're working with these, and, and this isn't from the gel bottle chrome. This is just in general. One of the things that uh, myself and my staff have noticed is when we are working with chrome gels, once you've applied it, you want to leave it before curing. So literally just let it sit there for maybe about a minute and you'll find it'll start to chrome up again. Before that, if we were to go in right away, and this is just my own finding, um, working with these kinds of gels, but can you see how it's kind of got that shine back again, like that real metallic finish, whereas 30 seconds ago, it looked a little bit more like a, kind of a stainless steel finish but anyways there we are we have that really nice uh, silver finish back and this gel isn't going to go anywhere so what we could do if we had other ones we were swatching we could do multiples and you know just kind of leave that on here but I want to do two coats on here just to work this out a little bit. I didn't want to do one heavy coat. I want it to be nice and even, and I also wanted to make sure that it's going to cure well. So I'm going to do two coats. So I'm going to go in for my 60 seconds on here, and I am going to cure the first coat, and we'll be back in just a minute. Back for our second coat. We're just going to dip in here. If you can see that on my brush. Oh, that's my dog. Okay, you can see here that that is um, kind of looking like that stainless steel. So we're just going to leave that. We're just going to let that sit and then we're going to cure it. Now we have a couple of choices for our top coat. We have the Extreme Shine Top Coat from the gel bottle. This is really, really, really a very shiny, shiny product, tack-free, of course. Um, I do find it's a very durable product as well, too. So that shine does tend to last for a long time. Um, the other one that they have is, this one's actually a newer um, top coat. It's called Glow Top. Now, it doesn't glow. It is just simply a top coat. But this is from the new line. So this is the Hema Free. Um, once again, still tag free. So, you know, either or. I'm a little bit more used to the Extreme Shine, one of the originals. And so I'm going to work with that. But either one, if, you know, for the Hema Free, um, this is a terrific tag free, very shiny as well. Okay, so we're gonna put this into our light, we're gonna cure, and then we're gonna seal it with our top coat. Our next swatch is also from the Studio Collection, of course, and it is called Bottles with Benefits. Now, this is almost kind of like a cross between the gold and silver, and um, I guess most of us would refer to this as almost a champagne-y kind of color. This, can you see the mark that I left in there with a brush? I was talking to you guys about the consistency and it almost being like a paste consistency. Now, the metallics are different. So those little uh, liquid metals are different. But this one here is more typical of how these studio gels actually look and feel. So watch when I dip into this. Can you see how it's almost like a paste? It is, it's, it's definitely a different texture. Um, it's really nice though. 
All right, well, let's do, let's do this one here. That's going to be the easiest way to do this. And it is, it's not heavy. It's, it's not thick and heavy that looking at the consistency, you might think it would be, but it's not. It's kind of like light and airy and marshmallowy somehow. But because of the consistency, you absolutely have extreme control. Um, so that's why it's from the art line. So we're going to do two coats on here as well, too. So I'll come back in just a minute. Actually, in 60 seconds. Okay, so that's two coats on there. Once again, we're going to finish it up with our extreme shine. Tack free. Now, because there's a tiny bit of texture to this, you could add just a little bit more. Now, you don't want to be flooding the nail, but just a little bit more of your top glass, just so you don't feel that texture if you touch the nail. And I mean, that's a personal preference thing. You don't have to. Our next one is the rose gold. And this one, as you can see, is brand new. We're just going to, with these handy dandy little tweezers here, oh, there we go. Oh, that's really, really pretty, eh? Oh, I like that. All right. So I'm going to take the seal off completely because this is definitely a thicker gel. It doesn't, we don't need to keep that on there. It's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> and no, it is not cured. I promise you that it is it is absolutely perfect. It is just that consistency we talked about yesterday. Okay, so here's our rose gold. Oh, that's so pretty. When you're working with these two, you don't want to um, have too much pressure down with your brush. I don't know if you can tell, but my brush is, um, I'm, I'm not hitting it with my brush like this. I'm more going this way and just stroking that out very lightly with almost kind of like a feathering touch. If that makes sense. Okay, so there we go. All right, so cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so the next one we're going to be doing here is our hashtag bling, or it's actually a, a number sign, um, but hashtag bling. So, and then let's see if we can get this all. There we go, with our handy dandy tweezers. There we go. Oh, that's another really lovely one. So I guess our very first one, our Bottles with Benefits, was gold, but it's not a yellow gold. I know sometimes we see real um, gold gold. This is a little bit muted back, which is, I, I really quite like that actually. It's, it's a really beautiful tone to it. Um, okay, anyways, onwards. Let's dive into our silver here. So hashtag bling, once again, look at that consistency. Isn't that interesting? And we're gonna work with this with very light pressure. And we're just gonna stroke that on, light pressure, light pressure. Okay, and so we're gonna cure that. And then we're gonna do another coat. 60 seconds. Okay, and let's do our second coat on here. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this time we're, we're trying the uh, the glow top and let's see how that works on here. Okay. 
So let's put that in. Six to seven. Now you can see what I've done here. As I said, if we keep these in order, then we know the order on those color chips. Now